Number six, a spirit-filled father is like his Lord and master. I don't know about you, but I want to become like Jesus. <laughs> Got a ways to go, hello? But I'm working on it, amen? Amen. We believe in progressive sanctification. Oh, I wish I could believe in instant sanctification, that all of a sudden one day I'd just be perfect. Let me tell you, when the trumpet sounds, I'm going to be like him because I'm going to see him as he is. Hallelujah. But until then, I'm walking in faith and grace and victory, trusting in him. Amen. And a spirit-filled father is like his Lord and master. And that's God's plan for every single one of us. His goal for you is to be that you would become like Jesus. And Stephen became a father of the faith because he allowed, he allowed his inner self to be transformed into the likeness of Christ. Acts 7, 59 and 60 tells us when Stephen was stoned to death, he prayed a twofold prayer. First, he prayed this. He said he forgave those who were harming him, and then secondly, he committed his spirit to God. Do you know those were the two, of the two of the seven prayers that Jesus prayed on the cross? Wow. The same thing when Jesus was on the cross. How many remember what he said? Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. And then his last breath, he said, Father, into your hands, I commend my, commend my spirit. And Stephen prayed those same two prayers. Acts 7 says this. It says, and they stoned Stephen as he was calling on God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not charge them with this sin. And when he said this, he fell asleep. I don't know about you, but I pray that in my final moments that I'll have the same ability to glorify God with my life that Stephen did. Come on. And then number seven, I'm about to end this message today. A spirit-filled father is greatly mourned when he dies. Stephen, a great father of the faith, who, one who lived his life for Christ, a man through whom the Spirit of God flowed like a river, a man who saw the miraculous in his, in his ministry and in his life, a man who became like Jesus even in his dying prayers. The Scripture says that he was greatly mourned. Acts chapter 8 and verse number 2 says this, And devout men carried Stephen to his burial and great, made great lamentation over him. Today on this Father's Day, we, some of us can look back on our physical fathers and who lived their lives that were, and their lives were very pleasing to the Lord. They're, they're gone today, and, and uh, you know, heaven's richer because they're, you know, they are there. Others think back on their fathers, and, and uh, you know, they honor them for who they, for who they are. But, uh, you know, Stephen was greatly mourned because, because he had served the Lord. And what I want to do as I close this message today is I, I, I want to do the same thing that Stephen Covey did in his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I don't know if you've ever read that book. It's a, a great book, not really a spiritual book, but it has great principles in it. And this is what he says. He says, we're to begin with the end in mind. Begin with the end in mind. And, he, and, and, and I'll tell you, not pleasant preaching, but it's true. One day, if I could use some poetic language, the death bell is going to toll for all of us, right? We're all, going to, we're all going to pass away. I'm hoping to believe it's going to be a long time for me and for you. Come on, somebody. You gotta, come on. Hope it will. Believe it will. We can serve the Lord until then. And they're going to gather around in your living room or somewhere, and they're going to talk about you what the question is this what is it that you want them to say what is it that you want your children and your grandchildren and your aunts and your uncles and your co your co-workers what is it that you want them to say did you know that you can actually choose today what you want them to say then if you begin with the end in mind if you think listen that i want i want that day to be something amazing because let me tell you something it counts how you live your life it matters how you live your life. And they'll probably gather around and they'll talk about your barbecue and the vacation that they had with you and maybe your cherry pie, Sister Jereen. <laughs> but let it be said on the day of your memorial service as devout men and women carry you out <laughs> and mourn you. 
He was a spirit-filled man. He was living his life for Jesus. He filled his heart with the word. Amen. Wow. Serve the Lord today. Be a channel for God's power. Re react gracefully under provocation. Be mighty in the scripture and allow God to stain you in your difficulty. And let me tell you, they will carry you out and they'll mourn you greatly because great men of God and great women of God are mourned greatly. Would you stand with me today? Thank you so very much for letting me share this message with you. Amen. It's a joy and a privilege. Amen. God is with us today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord's here.